This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 5, Creating Functions, Part 7. This is your code from the previous level. Did you know that you can write functions that call your own functions? Ooh, those are called recursive functions. If they tell us that, maybe not. Take the code that draws the rectangle and move and move into a new function called draw rectangle. The first line of your program should be a single call to draw a rectangle. The rest of your code should be function definitions. Okay. Oh, note. Your program will still do the same thing. Oh, okay. We are just changing the way it is written to demonstrate that you can use functions you've already written as blocks in new functions. Oh, a recursive function is a function calling itself. Okay, that's not what we're doing, so scratch that. But what we are doing is we're going to be using the function we created, our function write, um, inside of another function. So, let's see, do they give a structure? Oh, we're creating our own draw rectangle function. All right, so first thing we've got to do is in our toolbox over here, you want to click on the green functions. And we are going to grab a function and put it, I'm just going to put it right under our function definition for right. And when they say function definition, uh, don't let that intimidate you. What that is, is this, right? So where we have this function right, and then turn left, turn left, turn left inside of this function, that's a function definition because we are defining what that particular function does. Okay. Um, just for clarity, I'm going to go into text to make this easier to read hit enter you do not need to do this i just think it's easier if i do okay and then did you know you can write let's see what they want do they want the full draw and they do so what we're going to do they want a draw rectangle okay so we need to create well we're going to name our function draw rectangle just as instructed and then we're just grabbing this code i believe all of that and dropping it in here Oh, I don't need this space. Buy space. Okay. I believe, and what the, we're seeing here, oop, it doesn't like something. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, and what we're seeing here, though, is we define this function right, and then we are using that function or calling it here. So remember, on line 11 for me, when I call the function i'm defining the function draw rectangle and then on line 11 or inside of our draw rectangle function i am calling right function so that says the computer says oh okay i need to turn right and it goes back it looks for the right function yep and then goes okay i'm going to turn left one two three times which would be a right movement our final instruction is to call the draw rectangle function and to do so, this is a function call, right? That just means that's when we tell the computer to run our function. So we're asking it to run our function at that point. And um, these instructions say it wants it at the top of the code. You do not need a space like I'm doing. I am only doing this for, well, I was going to only do it for clarity. Just kind of separate out the code. Okay. Except our function is not called my function. The function we defined is called draw rectangle. And hopefully, let's go ahead and sit, hit run and see if we have anything to debug. Oh, <laughs> I have mine run so fast it did it instantly, but if you want to see it. Perfect. So that is the correct code. No boot debugging necessary. Great, let's keep going. 